Well, it's the time of year where we're going to start seeing local Girl Scout troops in our community. And with National Girl Scouts Day last Friday, we thought it would be a good idea to talk to a local troop. So joining us this morning is Kay Kissinger-Wolf from the Tomahawk Girl Scouts. So good morning to you, Kay. Good morning. And so in the past year, we've seen a lot of changes, obviously. So how has this affected the Girl Scouts and how have you adjusted? The Girl Scouts have had to be pretty creative with how they can get out and reach the girls. There's been a lot of virtual opportunities for girls. I know girls don't like that as much because they get so much of that at school. But they've got virtual camps, they've got virtual meetings, virtual events. And then uh, the local council is also trying to help the leaders promote outdoor activities. So we get outdoors and we can do different things with that. And they've set us up with programming for that. Well, that's wonderful. Great to see you guys adapting. Um, and just how do the Girl Scouts uh, really make an impact in helping their communities? Girl Scouts, um, they'll start to learn to become leaders by doing a ver variety of activities. But the big thing that a lot of troops will do is community service projects. Uh, recently, one of our troops did 170 uh, Valentine cards for the shut-ins at the nursing homes and that um, delivered cards to Meals on Wheels. We'd bake apple pies in fall. We'd have a big apple pie. We'd make 60 apple pies and deliver those to shut-ins. Just sounds like so many opportunities uh, to give back. And of course, uh, with all of those community efforts, uh, what life skills are Girl Scouts learning uh, through all of that? Well, the big thing when we go through cookie sales, we encourage that the girls learn goal setting I've had troops that have traveled to Europe and New Zealand. Cookie sales were part of the fundraising that they used for that. They have decision making. Who's going to go where? Who's going to do what? Um, decision making, are we going to do cookie booths? Are we going to do door to door? How can we do that? Money management, which is a big thing. People skills. They have to talk to people. They have to assert themselves. They have to be friendly. Um, they will learn that from doing things like this. And then they also learn business ethics. Girls, girls stand for, um, they have the acronym that they give us. They're go-getters, they're innovative, a risk taker, and they're leaders is what they use for an acronym for girls. Wow, I didn't even know about that acronym, but uh, that is actually, uh, it's very, very accurate, and, and I love that. And uh, you mentioned cookie sales, and uh, so I myself look forward every year to getting my hands on a box of Thin Mints. Um, so I think so many people are wondering, you know, are, they, are the sales still happening? And uh, where and how uh, and when can they get their hands on those cookies? The cookies are coming into the neighborhoods. Tomahawk has received their cookies and the girls are getting their cookies delivered. We'll be having cookie booths in our, our community in Tomahawk um, the, over the next couple of weeks. Different girls will have booths set up across the council. Our council is the upper two thirds of Wisconsin up into Michigan. And each troop will set up their own event. Cookies will be available till April 4th. They're $5 a box. The, um, you can go to any Girl Scout, if you Google Girl Scouts Northwest Great Lakes, you can find out where cookie booths are. Girls are able to do them virtually, that they can, people can order cookies online and have them shipped right to the house, or they can come to cookie booths or contact any girl that has registered in the system. Wonderful. Uh, thank you so much for joining us this morning. That answers all of our questions. And uh, I know now where to go to get those cookies. So thank you so much. Thank you.